Hello and welcome back to another discussion video with me, Mioni, for Final Fantasy XIV. This time I want to briefly talk about the trust system coming to Final Fantasy XIV, confirmed for the Shadowbringers expansion and patch 5.0 next summer. If you don't know what trusts are, let's quickly show you an example from Final Fantasy XI. In that game, you play in open world areas of the game and must fight monsters. However, you might not always have access to other players due to the decline in the population of that game or don't have any friends online. Thus you can actually summon NPCs you unlock from completing certain quest content to come and help you on your way. Those in Eleven included many different types of NPC, including tanks, healers and of course a variety of DPS, all tied to either the main or side quest pieces of content. So in Final Fantasy XIV we're getting the trust system, but a trust system is shown in this slide at FanFest Las Vegas in the keynote as the NPC Battle Assist system. They show here some of the scions in the background image, and throughout the short talk on the feature during the Las Vegas FanFest keynote, they asked who exactly will be the NPCs you can use as trust in this game and to wait and see, potentially then implying the scions with that background image, but then not directly confirming anything. If then you are sat there going, okay, so we're getting trust from Final Fantasy XI, well, apparently they're going to be similar, but not exactly like it. It was said that these trusts will be NPCs that will help players through 5.0 dungeons, who choose to do them solo, which will be exactly like the adventurer squadron missions that you can currently do with your grand company barracks, recruiting AI along the way in their content. They infer that this feature is not designed to replace the existing party matchmaking system, but is meant to actually help solo players. And the last detail that was confirmed here was that they're adding more NPCs to this system over time. So what can we expect from the same technology that provides this kind of situation? Pathing of an AI in squadron missions is essentially non-existent. This is the issue. They would not go into the elevator. No matter how much I promised them experience, one day they might get to do alliance raids with me, they would not come in. No matter what I tried. I even tried seducing Cecily at one point. It didn't work. But with the prospect of 5.0 dungeons, well, in theory, if they quality assure each of these dungeons properly, unlike Copper Bell Mines Hard, and use some of the technology they've learnt from Stormblood's implementations of main scenario solo duties, such as a battle with Lakshmi or the most recent encounter at the end of patch 4.4 in the Azim Step, then you can actually expect some pretty great things from this technology. The downsides obviously include that people will do the dungeon solo if they work out too convenient, which could ultimately affect the queue times for other people in the matchmaking system, but that's also a plus side if say you want to queue into a dungeon that nobody does anymore past the main scenario quest that it's involved. Say for example patch 5.5 comes along and that you're a DPS wanting to do a 5.0 release dungeon, it will probably be a long wait for for your dungeon queue, so this system would help newcomers to the game at that point. It's one of those interesting things that I actually predicted quite a while ago this year and wanted to happen, but now I'm not actually 100% sure it will live up to what I want it to be. But as someone who did and, and relatively still does want to use the Adventurer Squadron AI for bigger things in the game, this could actually turn out to be really good for it. But it's going to be very difficult for the development team to make queuing with other players still relevant versus the ability to queue in and simply get them done. With of course no worry of the tank instantly AFKing as soon as you zone in or someone going to their door to grab a pizza mid-pull. I'm actually curious as to what other people think about this trust system and what impact this would have on the game. I'm also interested whether you think they'll go further with this and one day allow us to do raids with this AI, or would that be the worst idea known to man? It's also interesting to note that Final Fantasy XI implemented trust towards the end of its life cycle, when the population of the game in general was dipping and it'll be interesting to see how this impacts a relevant content release. Either way, let me know below, and I'll see you all next time.